Good morning, and I'm here at Barnsley Town Hall, or more specifically, by uh, Experience Barnsley Museum and Discovery Centre. I think I've said that right for once. Um, I'm here to check out the May the Toys Be With You exhibit. Um, if you remember, I came a couple of weeks back to see the guy that collects all these toys. I saw him talk. Um, I'll put a link to that in the corner. But now we're going to have a look at the actual exhibit itself and look at what there is on offer. Not that I can buy any of it, not that I could afford any of it, but let's go have a look. It says it opens at 11, it is now 10.59. Come on. Museum entrance. Please do not enter if you are wet. Haha, <laughs> I'm immature. Walking through the main bit of the uh, museum, and it's so quiet. There's no one here. I'll put a link to when we came up in the corner somewhere. But uh, it's so quiet. Also, they're doing some sort of construction over here. Let's take a look. I'm not sure what they're doing. Hmm, something over there. Making it look prettier. This is it. We're here. Check out all these retro action figures. Stormtrooper, R2-D2. These are proper retro. These will be expensive. Also, I like this display. Luke Skywalker with some sort of yellow lightsaber. Princess Leia with a funky collar. Chewbacca looking kind of happy. R2-D2 looking like a trash can. This is proper retro. Also, Check this down here. When Star Wars first came out, they didn't have any toys for it. They had zero merchandise. So, for Christmas, lots of parents bought their kids this. Just cardboard. Kids were unwrapping cardboard for Christmas. But, this cardboard guaranteed that when the merchandise did come, you get all the action figures. How exciting. So I was trying to figure out why there's two figures in each case. See there's like Luke Skywalker and Luke Skywalker, Leia, Leia. Um, I couldn't figure it out. All I needed to do was come down here and read this. The second one is a rarer variant. So that one's like your cheaper. That one's your expensive one. Cheaper, expensive. Here's a special invite for a screening for crew members of The Empire Strikes Back. That's pretty exciting. And a ticket for a special screening of A New Hope when that was first released. In fact, that's the uh, first ever UK screening of Empire, Star Wars and Return of the Jedi. So it's like a triple feature. That's exciting. I mentioned this last time I was here, but this is an absolutely awesome set. If I'd have had this set when I was a kid, I would have been living the high life. Look how big it is. That's like bigger than the cats. That's bigger than a small dog. Awesome. Check out these fantastic posters. I like this one. This one's cool. That one's great. I'd, I'd have that one. This is a pretty comprehensive poster set. Return of the Jedi. Offer to Special per I I can't say that. Still a cool set. I, I hope I didn't offend anyone. I'm sorry if I did. More action figures. Oh, I like this one. The silver droid. Little power droid, a gonk droid. Fat. The boba. 
What a guy. He has a Empire Strikes Back set. Yeah. Look at Luke. Wait, that is Luke. Yes, that's Luke. He has an Imperial Cruiser. I don't remember this from the film. But I do know that they reused this design in Star Wars Rebels. That's a bit of nerd info for you there. In fact, I'll put a picture in now. See, I wasn't lying. They reused this. I'm so knowledgeable. Oh, I forgot to show you this guy. Let's call him Colin. Hi Colin. High five. No fives while he's on the job. Good trooper. Look at this white TIE fighter. Do you want another fun fact? The original TIE fighters were white because they disappeared on blue screen when they tried to use blue screen. Fun facts. Facts for all the family. This poster is genius. Ain't no waiting around on the internet. They just put out a big poster. Good idea. Also, here's a second Stormtrooper. Mavis. Mavis the Stormtrooper. Mavis. And Colin, who's still watching me. And now, the Return of the Jedi set. This is amazing. Uh-oh. She's drunk too much. Alien down. Alien down. And here's the big guy himself. No, not Santa. Jabba and his little chum I've just learned an amazing fact that if you get a tub of water and you put a bunch of real items in and a bunch of fake items in like guns and things if they sink the fake if they float the real I never knew that I'm definitely testing this when I get home this is amazing. Science. Return of the Jedi set. You've got it. Oh, look at him. These guards and bath towels. Oh, yeah. Fun fact. I've got him. And I've got him. I doubt they're going to be worth all that much, to be honest, though because he's not got his little headgear, or his stick, or his bandolier, or anything really. I've just got the guy. Oh, this is amazing. Like, this still looks good now. I want this. Although, look at how he's sat with his legs straight out. It's like he's going, What is this crazy tandem X-Wing? This wasn't in the films. I feel like it should be though. This is cool. Here's a few more posters. I, I like this one. This foreign one. Japanese? Maybe. And here's Captain Solo. Trapped in his carbonite. Just chilling. I like him. I like him where he is. Check out the description. This is property of JT Hutt. And I'd like to thank uh, the mighty Jabba for the loan of this exhibit. Thanks, Jabba. Check out these fun Star Wars pictures that some kids have done. And some colouring in. Wow. I like this one. Darth Vader would have been a lot more fashionable if it looked like this. Also, look at this R2. Disco R2. Disco, disco, disco. 
Oh my gosh, guys. Outfits. You know what's going to happen now, don't you? What do you think? Do you like it? Oh, yeah. What about this one? Maybe this guy? I'm not sure. I kind of like him. That was far too much fun. Wow, and look at this. We've got some Star Wars merch on the way out. I like this dining set. This dining set's cool. This cookie jar is pretty awesome as well. Let's walk away, otherwise I'm just going to end up spending money that I don't have. So there you have it. That was the May the Toys Be With You exhibit at the Barnsley Museum and Discovery Centre. It's running on through till the 15th of July. So we've got plenty of time to come and check it out. It's free. It's interesting. I didn't show you everything because then it would just spoil it all. So you should come. Come and look. Why am I squinting? That's better. Anyway, yeah, you should come. You should look at stuff and it's a fun morning out. So with that being said, I'm going to get gone and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.